Hello everyone. In this video, I will show how you can use this tool in Google Sheets to send richly formatted HTML email. Here you can see I have added a few fields necessary for sending email like subject, recipients and email body which can accept an HTML template. Here I have inserted an HTML template for the email body. Our discussion will mostly revolve around how to fabricate such templates for free. First let me show you the demo by sending it. Now let's open my email. Here you can see the HTML email. It can contain actionable buttons and social icons that you can see here. Here I have inserted one button that is called Claim New Year Offer. It can redirect to your site page. Here I have simply set it to google.com or these social icon buttons can be suitable for social media marketing. Let's check if these are working. Yes, it's redirecting to my channel page. For social media icons, I have used icons from this site called icons8.com. I have downloaded it into my Google Drive folder. You can get its link and modify the copied link in the HTML file like I did. Now back to spreadsheet. The main objective here is to get the HTML template. Now if you have got a paid subscription in MassMailer tools like MailChimp or SendGrid or GoDaddy emails, then they offer sending such templated email at ease. But if you want to use Gmail to send HTML email, then this is the right video for you. I will tell you several ways to do it. But before that, it would be better if you can get a code editor like VS Code. I will post the download link. One way would be to use ChatGPT to get the desired template. Prepare your prompts in detail. For example, I asked the ChatGPT for HTML code using this prompt. Then I copied the response HTML code. Create a new folder. And open it using VS Code. Now create a new HTML file. Then paste the copied code. Now you can modify the code. Like here I have modified the content, adjusted the banner size, added a few social media icons from my Google Drive. You can view the result immediately by either double-clicking the HTML file or by clicking on the Go Live button at the bottom right corner. You can get this button by installing an extension called Live Server. When you click this button, it will open in your browser's tab. Once you are satisfied with the look, then you need to do one more step that will be common to all other approaches also. You need to inline the CSS. For that, we will use a CSS inline tool. Like I will use this. You can also use this one. I will post the link in the description. Paste your previously prepared HTML code here. And then submit it. Now copy the output code and paste it in the spreadsheet. Then click on Send. You can also use MailChimp's free tier to use their free templates. Let me show you how to use it. In the home page, navigate to the contents menu. Then click on email templates. Then click on create template. This will take you to their template gallery. If you are on a free tier, then you need to select the free one. You can edit this template here. You can also edit it inside your editor. Then come back to your templates. 
Here you will get the option to export it as an HTML file. After exporting it, locate it in the folder and open it with your code editor. You can edit it if you want to. You can ignore these codes related to styling and scroll to the actual content area. Here, you can put your own content. Once editing is done, you will have to inline its CSS using the inliner tool. Copy the entire code and use the inliner tool. Once processed, you can paste this in the spreadsheet. Let's test this also. I am opening my email to see if that worked. Here you go. It arrived nice and tight. Another way is to copy and modify email templates from your inbox. If you are impressed by any email in your inbox, then you can copy that and modify it in the editor. Let me show that to you. I will take this email from Airtable. Then right click and select Inspect. Then you need to identify the outer div element that's responsible for rendering this content. You can identify this by hovering over the element and moving upward till you see that the entire content is selected. Then copy this element. Paste it in the code editor. Modify the content and links here. Change the logo, etc. When you are done, paste it in the spreadsheet. No need to inline the CSS because it's already inlined. Now test it. Here you can see it has sent the email. Now if you are interested in the code, then please open the editor by clicking on the extensions and then App Script. It's only two lines of code. First line reads the different values in the Settings tab and stores it inside these variables. Second line uses the mailapp.send email method to send the email using the HTML body. That's it. Feel free to make a copy of this spreadsheet from the link given in the description below. Please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the like button. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.